right, so good morning, Internet. Um, I was going to face the camera toward myself to do this because you've already seen all this territory anyway. But since it's fall and the leaves are changing finally, I figured why not give you a nice fall scenery to look at while you hear me yap. So, here we be. Um... <clears throat> A lot of stuff has happened since the last time I updated it, I'm pretty sure. So this one might be a little more personal than just yapping about normal stuff like I usually do. But knowing me, I'll probably throw in both because you know me, I love to talk. Um, um, so anyway, now that I got what I need, okay. So, um... In the last week or so, this is being recorded in like the second week of August, or of, of, of August, jeez, of October, excuse me. Time travel, complicated, you know. <laughs> that and I'm just nuts. But anyway, um, second week of October, this pretty much is, I think. Um, but anyway, um, lots pretty much happened in the last week. Um, went into work on Wednesday for them to tell me that their department was out of money and they couldn't fund a student worker anymore, so I was out of a job. So I pretty much finished up Wednesday and I've been out of a job since then. Um, obviously I've been actively searching for a job because even when I went into security, I knew that that job wasn't going to necessarily be a long-term thing. I really had no idea how long it was going to last. Yeah, it was still a shock when it ended. Yeah, I was still kind of mad when it ended. But I pretty much went into it knowing that I didn't know how long I was going to be there. But I was also hoping in the back of my head that I wouldn't have to leave there on that kind of terms, that I would have another job, that that I would be leaving that job to go into a different, to go into a different job. Excuse me. I can't talk this morning. Holy cow. Um, so yeah, that hasn't happened yet. Um, so, at this point, I'm out of a job. <laughs> uh, thank God I still live at home, because thankfully mom and dad are able to help out a little bit. Even now, I mean, I've still got money to do, take care of some things, but you know, that only lasts so long. <laughs> but, um, so at this point... Um, I'm pretty much now searching for a job in earnest. I would still like to have a job in IT if I could because that's the field that I want to be in. Holy cow, you took that wide. Um, but I know at this point, I'm getting to the point, it's like my dad said, I'm getting to the point now where I just need to take something just to get money in the bank and then I can always change again if I have to. I just don't like, I'm not one that likes to go into a job, keep it for a few weeks, and then move on to something else. I don't like to do that. You know, I had, e even the seasonal jobs that I had, I had them for a few months because, of course, they were seasonal. I mean, that I couldn't really avoid. But, you know, the seasonal jobs, I had them for a few months during the summer, and then I, well, I, I didn't quit. You know, it was just the business closed for the season, seasonal, obviously. You know, and then looking even further forward, you know, when I was at Walgreens, I was there for two years, on just that, or not quite two years. It would have been two years in September. I was, I left in February. But, you know, in the school, I was there for two for over two years. I just don't like to, I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I know sometimes you have to, there's nothing you can do about it. But I just don't like to do that if I can, you know. I, I just, I don't think that's good for the employer because they take, they've take taken the time to interview you to really scrutinize whether you're going to fit in their company or not for you to come two weeks later and say, I'm sorry, I have something else now I'm going to, you know. Getting my two weeks notice for something else. I mean, I guess in some industries they kind of expect it, sort of, in the back of their head. 
you know, they hope it doesn't happen, that it, it's kind of, a, it's, it happens more frequently, so it's kind of, I guess, maybe tolerated more, I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for or not, but, you know, and the thing of it is, while I know I, I need a job right now, at this point, it's, it doesn't really matter what it is, you know, I don't want it to be a job that I'm going to hate. You know, yeah, it's probably not going to be a job with my life's work, but I also want it to be a job that I'm going to not hate going to. You know, I've had two interviews for other jobs, and this happened; those happened before all this recent stuff happened. And, you know, of those two jobs, I'm really torn with which one I want. Because one is full-time, one is part-time, Pay is the exact. It's pretty much the same, within like a dollar an hour difference, pretty much. Actually, it's less than a dollar difference, but anyway, it's pretty much the same. Um, and I just the one job is at a church. The one job is at a school, which either is fine. Obviously, I'm not opposed to either. But the only problem with the church job is that I don't even know if, it's, if problem is the correct word I want to use. It's not really a problem. That, that, that's kind of negative the way I'm looking at it. And I don't want to look at it like that. But the only thing that I've got, I guess maybe against the job, maybe it's a little better way to put it, I'm not sure, is that the job requires being there on Sunday because it's at a church. I mean, that makes sense that it requires it. I'm not, you know, I'm not upset that it requires that because that makes total sense. It's at a church. And for what it's, you know, for the, yeah, it's for IT. So, I mean, I get that because of what our church does. I, I totally understand it, you know. But, you know, with us going to our church now and, and me really getting involved in our church, I just hate to leave after getting involved like that. That's where I'm kind of torn. But, you know, I know... In the back of my mind, I know that, you know, that no matter what, the job that I'm meant to have will happen. You know, and at this point, some of you might be starting to quit watching this video because I'm getting a little religious, but you know, uh, I don't consider it religious, but whatever, whatever you define it as, you know, starting to show my faith a little more, but that's... That's, that's who I am, so I don't really, at this point, care if somebody doesn't like what I have to say, you know. You know, I have my opinion just like the next person. But, you know, I totally believe that the job that God wants me to have will be the one that I get. Yeah, I know, I can't just sit back and wait for it to happen. I know that I've still got to pursue opportunities. I totally get that. But I also know that, you know, I also have to, you know, believe that the job that's gonna, that I want to happen is going to happen. Or the job that God wants to happen is going to happen. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. I mean, yeah, it does matter that I like the job. But, you know... I just, I don't know. But that's pretty much, I guess, where we are right now with everything. Um, just kind of waiting to see. You know, I'm still applying for jobs left and right, you know, as I've had the time. You know, I've applied for jobs and that. I'm not just sitting around waiting for something to come to me. I know it's not going to happen. But, you know, mostly at this point, I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with these couple interviews while applying for other jobs. These two most recent interviews I've had, I've not been denied either one to this point. So, um, just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Uh, so, for those that, you know, maybe believe in prayer, I don't know how I want to word that because I know you don't discuss religion sometimes in public. But at this point, that's who I am, so that's why I'm saying it. You know, if those that believe in prayer would just, you know, 
be at present, the right job happened that I'm meant to have and that God wants me to have, you know, I don't want it to be totally something, you know, it, it, it's not in my, it's not totally in my control, is what I'm getting at, you know, because I'm giving God, you know, his room too. That's where I think that a lot of times that we fail is that, you know, we think we can always do it ourselves. And, and, and in this case, I know I can. You know, I've applied for jobs that I thought I had a pretty good chance of getting and been denied. You know, had interviews, been denied. Applied for jobs, never had an interview, been denied. Because they obviously want the job that I, that I was meant to have, even though, yeah, I thought I could do it. Yeah, I thought that I, you know, be fine at it. It wasn't the job I was meant to have. So, that's just kind of where I feel I am at this point. You know. You know, that, that saying goes, when one, door when, when one door closes, another one opens. And at this point, I'm waiting for that second, that, that other door to open. But you know what? While I'm waiting, I'll praise him in the hallway. I like that, I like that addition to that statement too, because that's just it. Even though things don't always happen, we want it to happen, it will happen. It's just a matter of when. And really, when I say when, I mean when God wants it to happen. Not always when we want it to happen, because our timing is not always, and usually not, the right timing. Usually not. So, that's kind of where I am at this point. Just kind of wanted to share that a little bit, you know, and kind of let you know like, where I am and things. And I guess this is probably a little personal than I've ever gotten in my vlog. So, that's kind of, that's another side of me that you've now seen. So, you know. You know, when I share that, I know that I'm by no means perfect. Nobody in this world is. I don't profess to be perfect or profess to be, you know, the perfect Christian because that, that, that doesn't exist. I don't care who you are, that doesn't exist. You know what? I'm a human just like anybody else. I make mistakes, and I usually admit I make mistakes. But I also know that the God that I believe in, the God that I serve, tells me that he forgives me no matter what I do. Yeah, that's not a get out of jail free card, so to speak. That I can just go about my life and do what I want, when I want, and not suffer any consequences. Yes, he does always love us. Yes, he does always care about us and what we do. But it's not to be taken advantage of. It's like anything else. You know, to me, it's kind of, I just actually just kind of came to mind. It's kind of the equivalent of, you know, one day the government comes to you and says, you know, or the law enforcement comes to you and says, you can do whatever you want today, no penalties, no, you know, no questions asked, no, no recourse, no anything. You know, you do whatever you want. And yeah, there are some people that are going to do that because they, they're ta they've taken advantage of that. But then there's some people that will, even though there's no penalty for doing wrong, they won't do it. That's character. You know, that that's what I believe in. You know, and that's where I stand in my faith, you know. I know that God doesn't punish us. He just tries to show us ways and show us through situations how to get through it. You know, he, do he doesn't punish us. And he doesn't bring wrong on us to teach us a lesson. He does it to, 
And really, it's the devil testing us. That's really what it boils down to. It's the, it, it has nothing to do with God. God doesn't, you know, cause bad things to happen. It just doesn't happen. Really, the way I see it is it's the devil trying to test us to see what we're going to do. To see if we're going to fall or if we're going to just rise above it and conquer that problem, whatever it may be. It's not going to be easy. Never said it would be. But and that's kind of where I see things right now. So, I'm hoping this vlog isn't going to be viewed as pushing my values on others. You know, obviously this is my avenue on YouTube to get what I believe out. Either whether it's, you know, showing stuff like this, it's talking like this, whatever. I just, I strongly believe that, you know, through YouTube we're able to speak our minds the way we feel that we're, you know, that, that we want to. And there's no one telling us that we can't do it. Yeah, there's going to be haters that'll, you know, dislike our videos and that'll, you know, try and start comments, start comment wars and everything else. But those people just like to troll just because they like to troll. You know, they just like to start stuff because it's got nothing to do with you know, there, there's really no regulation of YouTube other than copyright. Which, rightly so. You know, obviously. You know, and most people, I think, in YouTube don't typically try to break copyright laws. They really don't. You know. Even when I have included music in previous vlogs, when I used to include, you know, non-royalty-free music in my vlogs, it wasn't as a way... I wasn't trying to violate copyright laws at all. I really wasn't. It was just a way of kind of A, showing you my, my musical taste, and B, giving something else to go along with the vlogs other than just no no audio or whatever. And it's, I, mean, I, mean, I know why copyright laws and that are a big issue. I get that. You know, I totally get that. I've kind of gone off on a totally different tangent. <laughs> but, um, you know, you know, that's why I like YouTube. That's why, honestly, I look at YouTube more than I do regular media because, you know what, yeah, it's, 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 it's everybody's opinions. People's opinions, in some ways, are good. You know, people are allowed to voice their opinions. And you know what, nobody's being forced to believe it. Yeah, I guess in some religions, some cultures, it might be a little more forced, but, you know, at least in America, thank God, that that still doesn't happen. You know, thankfully, we're, you know, pretty much able to voice what we believe in without persecution. Somebody's going to get a ticket. Either somebody's going to get a ticket or somebody's in trouble. <laughs> oh my. This is probably going to be a 20 minute ball. Good day. I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because, you know. Yeah, that's what I felt I, I should do. I mean, I know I'm, I'm not, you know, begging anybody for help. I'm not begging anybody for this or that. I just, you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, a lot of these other vloggers do, you know, they share their life with their viewers. And I know I don't do daily vlogs because I just don't have the time or the means to do it. And I guess I could do it, have the means to do it in some ways, but a lot of it's time. You know, and I know vloggers, you just take the time. It's not a matter that you make the time. You don't just, you know. But, um, 
that's just kind of what I, you know, but, you know, I know that me doing these vlogs, you know, I, I know that I have shared some personal things and I've, you know, because it's a way, you know, for you to see into my life, see what I do on a daily basis. Right now, I go to school. <laughs> no, nothing much else I really can do because I don't have the job right now, but, but you know what, that'll happen. I have no doubt that that won't happen. Wait, does anybody want to say that? Yeah, I think that's how I wanted to say that. <laughs> Vocabulary is not always my best, I apologize. I don't know why I say it things the way I mean to say it, but I think I said that right. that sign and that was that way the last time I was here but holy cow did someone tag that sign the heck did a truck back into it or I don't know what but alright so I'm going to go in here and deal with the insurance company real quick make sure that my discount's all hunky-dory and I'll be back. Talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> 